daughter, Queen Beatrix, goes. And now her son, who's going to be the king, is going to be here. An absolute cesspit of globalist turds that live off our tax money. That's why their entire world is built on taxpayers. It is disgusting. Utterly, absolutely disgusting at every level. They're doing a security sweep right now for the mafia that's going to be here. And the mafia does not want you to know that they're meeting here. Because once that happens, it is all over. And that's why you go to Infowars.com forward slash Bilderberg to see the YouTube videos, the live streams, the live radio show I'm going to go do in a few hours. All of this information is at Infowars.com forward slash Bilderberg and our backup site because they've tried some hack attacks as well, PrisonPlanet.com. We are the resistance, and resistance is victory. Being aware of the enemy, being aware of their actions, being aware of their disgusting criminal activity is the beginning of the end for these people. That's why it's important for everybody watching this live stream right now to get this video out to everyone you know, to get this live streams, all of it out to everyone you know, because even if you can't be here as alternative media, as free people, uh, as demonstrators, as campaigners, as they call it over here in the UK, you can go to Twitter, Facebook, everywhere else. They planned the fake Al-Qaeda Arab Spring here a few years ago. That's been in mainstream news with Google and Bilderberg attendees, George Soros, George Soros to put Al-Qaeda in all over the Middle East, overthrow secular governments like Hazi Mubarak, and, and, and put burqas on women's heads and enslave everybody so they could then have the extremist Muslim threat to menace the West when they, the government, then take our liberties when they run Al-Qaeda. And I exposed that a SWAT was the head of the 7-7 bombing, was really a government MI6 agent. I have exposed all of this, and I am going to continue to expose every bit of the fact that the NATO government and 10 Downing Street and the White House and all of them created Al-Qaeda, and they run Al-Qaeda, and they run the jihadis, and they're turning the jihadis loose right now in Syria to commit incredible war crimes. And that's why it's important we get these videos out to absolutely everyone. That's why it's important that we document every single bit of this, and we are going to document every single bit of this. How are you, sir? What's your name? Pleasure to meet you. It's Mr. Hildebrand. I've come here to say hello and to support you. Gregory, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm German. I live in England. I'm a fan of yours. I watch your program. Nice looking tie. Everybody pays attention to people in the tie. That's a Cambridge tie. All right, and I, and I, I, I just knew that you were in town, and I thought I'd come and say Well, God bless you, sir. What do you think of this event? I think it's very important that we're here and support you. All right. Well, well we're all here supporting each other. Thank you. Very nice Thank to meet you. you. What's, what's your view on what's happening here? Are you, uh, yeah. Are you asking me? Absolutely. <laughs> Hi. Uh, actually, I'm Bulgarian. I came here from Bulgaria. I resided uh, present in England. Uh, I just got a green card as well, so uh, in September I'll be going to the States. I had to wait for 10 years, you know, for my sister to petition me to go to the States. You're doing it legal, brother. That's the way to do it. God bless you. Yeah. I've been following your show as well, and... Uh, you guys ought to... Hey, look for that. Hey, Dan Dix, how's it going? Gentlemen, could you speak back to wherever you bet. You bet. How long you guys been here? Uh, we were here uh, in the UK for a little bit, but we... Have I met you? I've seen you do some stuff. Yeah, good to see you as well. Just go that side for me, please, sir. You said you, in one of your videos you're going back to Stonehenge. Can I can I recommend you a place? Yeah, yeah, tell me. Avebury. Go to Avebury. Where's it? It's six miles, or rather ten miles away from Stonehenge. It's a part of the whole, it's a huge complex. Stonehenge is not on its own. And it's a much bigger complex. Is it above ground? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, a, just a little bit please. Thank you. Just the way it's not buried. And it's standing stones. Yeah, about yeah. standing stones. And, and there's a man-made mountain as well there. So go there. It's fascinating, right? Oh, what time? When's the show start? Twenty minutes ago. So yeah, five o'clock out, so I'm late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them. Tell them I'm gonna go back over to the hotel. I'm gonna do an hour. Then we're going to go to London, and I'm going to do a live overdrive in the fourth hour. Sorry, this is madness right. here. See you down here tomorrow, mate. Uh, Absolutely, buddy. Be safe. Wait. Wait. <laughs> pretty pretty going. Corners, yeah, pretty great. We support you. Well, I support you guys. God bless you, brother. Good job, everybody. It's a worldwide audience, though. Yeah, Worldwide audience. Yeah, I know I've had cars drop grab my honking. I was on the train. Yeah. I'd say about a third of the people on the trains and stuff were listeners. Yeah. I think the New World Order is in a lot of trouble. So, so, you know, so, represent so how what happened here? You've got way more viewers. I know right much right more. Right you just got to think. 
you think you, you might yeah, I know you do have there, quite a big audience, but trust me, back it back. is much bigger than you think. And it's, it ranges from a diverse range. It's not it's not communist or capitalist, yeah, it's nothing divides us. It's people that want freedom. Yeah, it's people that want freedom. Whether or not we might have these views on gay people and abortion and stuff like that, but most people come together through truth, yeah. You gotta be and closer that, for audio. That, that's 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 how it is. We all come together through truth and we all want truth. And whether they listen to you or someone else, yeah, we just want the truth. And we don't like mainstream media anymore. That's why no one listens to them. Even though, you know, the BBC Can you believe can you believe that taxpayers have to protect a bunch of criminals in an illegal lobbying meeting in the middle of a lobbying scandal? Officers, what do you think of the lobbying scandal? You know they're lobbying to get your pension funds. I'm not kidding. Just when they take them, just enjoy it. I mean, just like Greece. No amount of squeezing the slaves will get you the money. It's true. I am here to report to you that your queen of the Netherlands, whose Nazi father founded this event, will be arriving. And police officers, the local constabulary, will be required to groom her stool. <laughs> She they just want family. She knew well, the like, ship I mean, was going to hit the fun. She put her son in. That's right, little Kingy's going to be here. She would have been here. She's going to pass pass the baton. <laughs> she knew it. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? It's like you cut yourself shaving there. Did your girlfriend come in and gripe at you? And you like kind of messed? Is that what happened? I'm sorry. That's quite a miss with a razor. You had to go like, whoa. My son came in with some of his G.I. Joe toys the other day and said, Daddy, look at this. While well, I was shaving and I cut myself. It was about a week ago, but it got better. Kind of the same thing, like a, up into the juggler. You sure? Really? That's what happened? I can tell. It's like a, when you got scared there. That's what happened to me. It's like, same cut. We don't want it to be any British jihad, uh, British funded jihadis, though. There. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're here live streaming. You guys want me to go back into a UK accent? A British, I can do it for you. Please do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, thank you for all that you've done here That's today. The British queen. It is time to kneel before the royal globalists and thank them for allowing the taxpayers of the UK to pay for the police presence and the millions and millions of pounds. You can be assured that you will be bankrupted in further endeavors as we work under Agenda 21 to shut down your infrastructure and only allow our operations to operate. You can be assured that if you wish to be in a centralized, crony, fascist, capitalist system utilizing socialism at the grassroots to control and domesticate the population, that you have come to the right place. <laughs> yes. And there will be none of the uh, uh, absurdity uh, lost on the public uh, that uh, organized criminals who have been indicted for criminal lobbying of Bilderberg will be protected during uh, protected from scrutiny during one of the largest uh, scandals in UK history in the Parliament dealing with bribery scandals centering around illegal lobbying. So rest assured, the global mafia will be protected from media scrutiny while they rape your entire future. We got, got a couple of smiles in here. Please continue on. Please continue on. And again, we should all thank Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands. May, may, may we all, when we achieve heavenly vestige, instantly and continually, instead of 40 virgins, we will be able to groom the stool of not only Queen Elizabeth II, but of Queen Beatrix eternally, forever, Hi. ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't know what grooming the stool is, you don't understand the finer points of heavenly uh, uh, liqueur, heavenly kingdom. You don't pass through the pearly gates, ladies and gentlemen, once you achieve heaven. You I've got, got, got this guy laughing, smiling. Other guys are kind of holding like their smiles, there. but they shouldn't. <laughs> but how, do, how does it feel being on the, the police channel here, being recorded? I mean, that's just I love pretty, it. pretty ridiculous. This is in public, so there's no perception of privacy. Just like under common law, yeah. and we should all be on this. It's really illegal what they're doing. I don't care what their local globalist control constabulary says. I know the law here as well as in the, everywhere else. I know common law and common sense. And I also understand that it's the spying on us without warrants that's illegal that's done ubiquitously. Just because they have a computer to do it doesn't mean anything. And that's what's going to end up bringing down all these people.